Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that I have been wanting to film for a really really long time and I have been plotting and I've been planning and today today it's happening we are doing not even the battle because I have it here the poof makeup battle it's not that it's more of a not all poofs are created equal maybe I'll name the video that it's not about being a dupe and I, I, I want to talk about that. I'm tired of dupes. I'm tired of this dupe culture. I'm tired of every influencer and creator and TikToker on the face of the earth screaming that something is a dupe just because it comes in a similar packaging. I can't take it anymore. It's like itching on me. So now we're going to talk about why these aren't dupes. Okay? <laughs> And I might seem a little upset and a little angry. I'm not. I'm not. This is all fun and games. Listen, at the end of the day, this is all just makeup. I have this kind of a poofy makeup here from one, two, three, four, five. I have six brands. Well, one of them I already decluttered, so you can already tell how I felt about that brand's poofy makeup. So uh, let's actually, I, did, I didn't do a spreadsheet. That is calling this too much. Let me actually tell you I'm going to position this video. I am going to start with quickly reviewing these products from the uh, least expensive brand going up to the most expensive brand, which is the brand that everyone is trying to dupe. And then I'm going to talk about why these aren't dupes and why it is absolutely ridiculous to keep calling these dupes. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. And hopefully we'll end up at some kind of a conclusion. <sighs> Grab a drink. Okay, so some people might be thinking that e.l.f., the new e.l.f. Halo Glow, whatever ones, that those are the most affordable ones. Those are not the most affordable ones. The most affordable ones are actually the one from Revolution Beauty. If you have been on my channel before, you know that Revolution Beauty came out with a highlighter poofy thing. And this is Revolution Pro, actually. These are $8 each and they come, I bought them in a trio. You can buy them in a trio and save some money. And then they're even less money, but they come with a little poof like this. And this actually is a poof and we'll talk about that as well towards the end of the video this is a poof and it comes with an open enclosure that i can't like it's op opens and closes so i don't accidentally squirt some out into the tab it just makes them a, a little bit easier they did have one of these highlighter ones from before i don't know if they had like the contour ones it was horrible it wasn't a poof the formula was dry crusty glittery it looked like a cheap glitter eyeshadow on the cheek it didn't blend and it was just a really really bad product I'm super excited to see them come out with this instead. I have made reels and videos about some of these things. And if I have something corresponding to these, I will leave that down below because of course I've been trying all of these. Most of them I've been doing like reels and shorts and stuff with it. I will link all of that in the description box. Check it out down below. What I will say, this uh, cream contour, it is not a cream contour. It is a bronzer and this is very yellow leaning. I bought the light one because I thought the medium one looked a little bit too dark for me online but i will say the light one does end up being a little bit too light for me especially when i get a tan i don't have a tan at all right now so i think that this one is the one that i like the least of this it also doesn't blend super effortlessly and it's not as sheer as the charlotte tilbury one they're definitely not the same kind of a formula they just come in a si similar packaging but i will say the blush and the highlighter are millions Sa same here they come in the same kind of packaging they are million 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 times better than the other drugs store highlighter and blush formulas i've tried in these poofs they literally they have a color they have a sheen they look pretty on the cheeks the only thing that is different from this and the of course very very expensive charlotte tilbury one except the, of course the price then is that these feel a little thicker on they're a little thicker in formula you can feel them a little bit more on the skin they're not as effortless and thin in the formula but the way that they look they look gorgeous. So if you're going to get anything from a drugstore one, I would say this highlighter and bronzer are the ones you're going to be trying. I have it in A Glow and Peach. And this peach, it is so pretty. The next one on the list is the e.l.f. ones. And I think you can already see one thing here. The amount of product you're getting. This one is $1 less and has 15 milliliters. This has 10. So this one has 50% more in it as well than the ones from e.l.f. And the ones from e.l.f., they do have, this is not a, I keep forgetting, this is not a pull cap, this is a screw cap. And this one doesn't have an open and close. And as you can see, if I compare this to an actual poof, 
it is not a poof. It is just a kind of a hard little almost pebble with some fabric on it. I, I, it doesn't really work the way as a poof should work. So you end up having to swipe a little bit and the effortlessness of just tapping it on and not disrupting the products underneath does go a little bit lost on these. I personally didn't like either the blush or the highlighter. These two from Makeup Revolution, much better. They look much better on the skin. They just look better on the skin in real life and also on camera. The contour, I think is better than this one. This one is beautiful. It is way more pigmented than the ones we're gonna talk about in a bit, but it really does look beautiful. It's not a contour though. It, it's, a, it's a bronzer. I got the one in a light medium. Yeah, light medium. It's beautiful on me. This is the best drugstore alternative, according to me, from the different like bronzer contour ones that I've tried, but the packaging definitely is a drugstore packaging. Let me see what's next on the list. I wonder if it's the one that I actually decluttered. Yeah, it's the Milani ones. Milani had a also like a contour, a blush, and a highlighter in the same packaging as these. Same kind of packaging as these, uh, which is the, the hard pebble one that you have to swipe on the skin. I didn't love those. Uh, I thought they were okay, but since I didn't love the packaging and since I thought that they were just me, they were okay, but nothing more. I actually decluttered all of them from my collection. If you were gonna get a drugstore one, I would recommend the Makeup Revolution and the e.l.f. ones, but the, the blush and the highlighter from Makeup Revolution and the bronzer, they call it a contour, but the bronzer from e.l.f. Those are the ones that are the best according to me. Next, I just wanna quickly throw this one in here. This is from Flower Beauty. It is 1449, which is a oddly specific number, but this is the Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. And this is actually what I'm wearing today because I did do this look for a video that's... When is it coming? I think it's coming next week. So it's it's coming in a bit. Um, we're gonna have this look coming soon and you'll see why I use this one. I don't love this one. I think this one, it doesn't look as sheeny on the cheeks as some of these other really good highlighters do. It just looks a little heavy and visible on the cheeks. It doesn't have as much of a transparent base as some of the other ones do, so it's more visible on the cheeks. It almost looks a little bit like a metallic eyeshadow. Not horrible, but also not amazing. And if you want it again, a liquid highlighter from the drugstore, get the Make a Revolution one instead of this one. Now we're coming into the two more expensive versions. So let's talk about the Tarte one first. These are $35 each, and all of these have come out, I'm fairly sure, this year year. This is the Sculpt Tape Sculpt Blush and Glow Tape. They're really, they're, they love tape. <laughs> Tarte has a thing for tape, okay? They're, they're, they're sticking with it. This one does come with the more uh, packaging that's similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one and the Makeup Revolution one, which is one of those pull-off. It has an actual poof and it is an open and close uh, packaging that you can like open and close. Why is mine so sticky okay mine was sticky maybe that's not that's not a good thing what i will say about these really love the highlighter the highlighter is beautiful i think this is the newest formula within this tart range that didn't come out with all of these at the same time this is stunning if you're looking for a liquid highlighter and you want to save at least a couple of dollars because i mean you're only saving i think seven dollars so how much are you really saving but if you wanted to get one of these the highlighter is beautiful and I also really love the contour. It is very sheer though, so I don't use this one. This is sheer just the way that the Charlotte Tilbury is sheer. This is the contour that actually resembles the Charlotte Tilbury contour the most. All of the other options I've been talking about does not. They're not sheer, they're not the same liquidy formula, they're more creamy, more bronzer-like formula. This one is that sheer contour formula. This looks the best with minimal base makeup. If you're doing full, like full bead, like full coverage foundation, this one is better as a foundation and layering some um, on top because it might be too sheer of a result if you want a visible thing. But because it's so sheer, it's very easy to blend out. And I actually like this one more than the Charlotte Tilbury version because this one doesn't dry as quickly as the Charlotte Tilbury one does. Sometimes with the Charlotte Tilbury, it dries a little bit too quickly. So it's hard to blend out. It says that it's like easy and effortless. I don't think it is. It dries a little too quickly. So I really like the Tarte one. And this one is the most similar in formula to the Charlotte Tilbury ones. When it comes to the blush tapes, these are the ones that I don't like at all. I definitely think 
go for the Makeup Revolution one if you don't want to get the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I think the Charlotte Tilbury ones are the best. The shimmery blush highlighter hybrids from Charlotte Tilbury are the best ones. They have the perfect amount of color versus sheen. They give a lot of glow but still look like a blush. This one, the one that I have in peach, it doesn't have any color to it. It is too liquidy. It's sim like it's too similar to this one in formula. The uh, one from Charlotte Tilbury isn't as liquidy as this one. So this one, if you're trying to build it up and make it look like actually something, making it look like a blush, you end up lifting whatever you have underneath. It is just not pigmented enough. So for me, this is more of a highlighter. I don't think this is a blush. It's not a blush. And I think the formula of this one should have had a little bit more substance for the lack of pigment that is in here. I don't think that they perfected this one at all. But then they actually came up with a new color and this one is called Cherry. This one doesn't have any shimmer to it, which you might think that it does because the, there is actually a pearlescent to the packaging. But this one doesn't have any shimmer to it. This is more like the matte blush that Charlotte Tilbury has. I don't have any of those because I don't do matte cheeks. And I thought that this was going to have a sheen to it. This is extremely pigmented. This is more pigmented than any blush I have ever tried. This is more pigmented than the uh, Just a Pinch blushes from um, Rare Beauty. That's how pigmented this is. I think this is like a liquid lipstick because it also dries down pretty quickly. And even if you just do the smallest poof, you're going to cover your entire half of the face. On the website, they do show this on a darker model. And I think that this is a color that definitely, I mean, red blush is for everyone, but I definitely think that this is made for darker skin tones in mind. But I will say the way that it looks on the website, where they did three big poofs on a beautiful model with a darker skin tone and then blended it out, it looks like a sheer red. I will say I don't think that that is how it works in real life. I think that that photo is a little misleading. I might be wrong, but this is pigmented. I'm having some swatches pop up here, uh, like some B-roll while I'm talking about this, and you can see how incredibly pigmented and opaque this is. And I'm just having my doubts that this was actually used the way that it showed on the website. I just, this is a liquid lipstick. It's a liquid lipstick in the tube. I, I, mm. I don't know. Again, if you can show me someone that's using it and making it look more easy, I had to blend this with something else. I think I blended it with this shimmery one and made it work. I don't love that one. I think it is too pigmented to be a blush, in my humble opinion. And then we have the last one, the one that I have uh, the most of, and it is because I love this formula. I do have, let's talk about this one first, because I said that this one is the most similar to uh, the Tarte one. The Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wands. This is an easy contour. I have mine in fair medium. This is very sheer, very liquidy, very easy to, to like sheer out and blend out. But I think this one is easier because it doesn't dry as quickly as this one. This one, if you do your entire face and then just wait a little too long, it's gonna start drying down. You're gonna start lifting what's underneath. The best way to use this one is to use it on one space, blend it out and then move to the next one. So for that, reason I do prefer this one over this one but I honestly if I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest just looking at them right now I think I prefer the elf one even more and I think that's mainly because that's the kind of look I want this is a little bit more opaque it's a little warmer and I prefer I prefer a bronzer over a contour so that's just a personal preference but these are not dupes these are we're going to do some comparisons at the end and then I have three of the uh, blushes and I have one of the highlighters. This is probably my most used highlighter in my collection. This is Spotlight. This is beautiful. Again, this is that like bigger poof, the opening and closing thing. This is that actual poof thing. And then when it comes to the, I think these are called Beauty Light Wands. Is this also called that? Yeah, this is Easy Highlighter and this is Blush. Ooh. Mm, high blush. High, this is also, oh, so Pillow Talk is also considered a highlighter. For me, the Pillow Talk has some pink to it. So for me, it is more like a blush highlighter hybrid. And then I have the Pillow Talk Medium and I have the Peach Gassum. Honestly, uh, it might actually only be this uh, Peach Gassum that is considered a blush, but this one has a perfect 
consistency for being a blush. There's enough color in here so that you do get that blushed feeling. There's a little bit of a like a base color to it but it's still very shimmery so you can blend it up as a highlighter and it's not too liquidy it's not as liquidy as the uh, contour so if you need to build it up a little bit more you can these are the best if you are gonna get a shimmery highlighter blush kind of a thing and you don't mind splurging these are the best i will die on that hill i think these are the best the best formula wise but if you really are buying a budget get these from Revolution. They're really nice. So I'm just going to be comparing some of these things here. These, this is Peach Gassum, I'm pretty sure. Peach Gassum from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to show you why this one you can see here. This has a base color. There is a color to this one. And I'm going to show you why I don't think the one from Tarte, is it this one? The Peach. I'm going to show you why I don't think that this one is the same kind of a thing. Because it is more liquidy and it doesn't have the same, you can see, can you see that it's more liquidy? I don't know if you can. You can see that it's more sheer at least. It is more liquidy and it doesn't have exactly the same kind of a, you can see it's more sheer here, exactly same kind of a base color than the Charlotte Tilbury has. And since it is more liquidy, it does have a tendency of shearing out more uh, and also lifting what's underneath. And when you want to build up and have a color, it's nicer to have something that doesn't really do that. And then of course, I was kind of hoping that this one, the, uh, the cherry one was going to be a little like glowy and like a little beautiful because the packaging, like I said, is pearlescent. But this is, I mean, you can see. That's, that's a liquid lipstick. That's a liquid lipstick. Uh, and you saw in the B-roll that this doesn't really sheer out when you blend it out either. So I'm just having my doubts about this one because I just, it is a little weird. I will put up a picture here as well of all of the bronzer and contour products uh, just swatched side by side so you can see the different ones. Hopefully I'm able to mark them up in a way that makes it easy for you to see. But of course these are not the same and these are not dupes. To color it doesn't like really matter but I think for me the most important thing that I want to talk about in this video is that this is not the same formula. Just because something comes in the same packaging or a similar packaging doesn't mean that it's the same product. This isn't the same formula. None of these are the same formula as the Charlotte Tilbury one. The only one that comes close is the contour one from Tarte. That's the only one that comes close to it. And I really, really need, I need people to stop saying that something is a dupe just because it comes in the same packaging. These are not dupes. The e.l.f. ones, they're not the same formula as the Tarte ones. Stop saying they're dupes. They're not dupes. They're not the same formula. They're, they don't work or look the same on the cheeks. And I'm just, I'm a little bit annoyed. You don't see people saying the two powder blushes that come in around compact are the exact same formula just because they come in at compact. What is it about these poofs that makes people think that just because a liquid formula comes with a little poofy poof at the end, they have to be the same formula? They're not the same formula. It doesn't mean that they're bad or that they're awful, but they're not dupes. They're not the same. I feel the same when someone puts out like a dupe in a lipstick packaging that looks the same. It's like, it's not the same formula. <laughs> That's not what dupes means. Dupes means something that is so similar that when you put it on your cheeks, you put it on your lips, you put it on your eyes, it looks, feels, and wears the same. That's how I feel about dupes. And honestly, I feel this, and this is just me throwing it out there. I would love to hear a thought about this. I never click on dupe videos because I'm not interested in it because I feel like I've done some dupe videos myself and I feel like I fell into this trap as a, as a YouTuber, as a creator. I feel like I fell into this trap of finding dupes for products. So I ended up spending money on things that I already had to show you dupes. I, I, it didn't make sense for me. I feel like it just became this, this like hunt to find similar products. And I feel like brands are just leaning into that because that's what's really big right now on social media. I think you've seen it as well. Dupes are like high, low, middle everywhere because I think people are looking for similar things, but I stopped actively looking for dupes and instead comparing things as they go 
because I'm just, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in jumping into the dupe, the dupe pile of videos because it just becomes a hunt that it just doesn't make me happy. It's not the kind of content that I enjoy watching. It's not the kind of content I enjoy doing. But most of all, a lot of the times when I'm trying stuff that people say are dupes, I just end up not agreeing and I just... I don't know, it just falls short. Maybe I'm sounding like I'm a little bit fed up on this, but with this poofy makeup, I am a little bit fed up on this. Like, it, it's overdone, okay? Let's go back to comparing formulas <laughs> instead of comparing packaging, okay? Please and thank you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Please let me know what you think about these things. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave as well, because I will have a video. I think I'll have a video tomorrow as well, and I will see you then. Bye!